If you want to upgrade your computer to Windows 11, but your computer doesn't support the Windows 11 hardware requirements, I'm going to show you yet another method that you can use to bypass the system requirements, and this might just be the easiest one yet. As you can see, the PC that I'm using here does not meet the Windows 11 system requirements, so I'm going to show you how to bypass that. So to get started, you'll have to go and download the Windows 11 ISO file, and you can just do a Google search for download Windows 11, then you can click on the link from my Microsoft. Then from here you can just scroll down until you get to this section where you can download the Windows 11 disk image. You can click on this drop down menu and then select the Windows 11 multi edition ISO. Then click on download now. Then you're going to need to select the product language. Now before you make a selection here, right click on your start button, then open Windows PowerShell as admin. If you don't have that option, just do a search on your computer for Windows PowerShell. And then you want to type the following command, which is get dash win system locale, then press enter. Then you're going to see which language you currently have installed on the system that you want to upgrade to Windows 11. So I've got English United States installed on this computer that I want to upgrade to Windows 11. So when I make a selection here, I'm going to choose English United States. If you have any other English version listed here, like English United Kingdom, for example, then you'll be choosing the English international version or whichever other language you have installed on your system. But I'm going to choose English US because that's what I have installed. Then click on confirm and then you'll get this option to download the 64 bit version of Windows. And that's going to start the download of that ISO file. So once you have the ISO file on your computer, you can go back to your browser and then do a Google search for 7-zip and then just go to the downloads page of 7-zip and download the normal 64-bit or 32-bit version for Windows. Then just open the file so you can start the 7-zip installation. If you do get any prompts, just click on run anyway and then click on install and then close this and close the browser. Then you can right click on this ISO file and you'll have this 7-zip option here. If you hover your mouse over that, you'll have some more options, and then you can just select this option that says Extract 2, and then it's going to create that folder name. Select that, and let it extract the files to that folder. Once it's finished extracting the files, you should see this folder in the same directory that you have the ISO file. So go ahead and open this folder with the extracted files in it. And now what you need to do is open the sources folder and then you need to navigate to a file called appraiseries. I'm dead sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're not selecting the normal appraiser file. You need to select this appraiseries file here. It is a DLL file. Once you've done that, right click on it, then click on open with. You should see an option to use more apps and you can go ahead and select notepad from that list and then just select this checkbox down here then click on ok and it's going to open that file in notepad once you've done that you can just press ctrl and a on your keyboard so you can select all of the text that's inside of this file and you can press a backspace or delete so you can delete all of that and then you can just go ahead and click on file and save once you've done that, you can exit notepad and then you can close this folder. And then once again, you can reopen that folder and then run the setup application, which is going to launch the Windows 11 setup. On this initial screen, just click on this option to change our Windows downloads updates. Then click on not right now and click on next. It's going to check your PC, whether it can run Windows 11. It should just skip past that. Then you'll need to accept the terms. It's going to do some more checks and then you'll be able to install Windows 11 on your computer and you'll be able to keep all of your personal files and apps. If you can't keep your files and apps, it means you selected the wrong language when you downloaded the Windows ISO file. So just go ahead and rewatch this video where I explained how to select the correct language. But as you can see, I can now go ahead and click on install Windows 11 on this computer that's not supported for Windows 11. So now it's just going to go through the normal Windows 11 upgrade screens and once it's finished you'll be taken to your desktop so i hope this quick guide's been useful please like the video and i'll talk to you guys soon